Welcome back. You know it's time to whip out the kicks when the weather warms up. So here to show us how to take our sneakers to the next level with a little DIY magic is the Christian Dare. <laughs> he knows his DIY stuff. And I know my kicks. And you know your kicks. <laughs> Before we even get artsy with our sneakers, they need to be clean. Yeah. So why don't you give us some tips? Exactly. So White kicks get dirty really, really easily. Yes. So you want to clean them up. And then if there's stains you can't get out, we will cover them later. Okay. <laughs> so there's a couple tricks that you can do with white kicks. So the easiest thing that first is I say try with some of your laundry detergent. I love this one from Swash because it's eight times concentrated. So it's gentle. Yeah. But you just need a little bit. Right. And then literally I always do a toothbrush. Yeah. Squeeze it on. And then you're going to scrub in. Okay. And rinse it with water. That will probably be your first trick. If that doesn't work, the next step is whitening toothpaste. Okay. I had never heard that before. If it can clean a coffee stain from your teeth, it can clean some shoes. I guess so. Right? Yeah. And minty fresh. If yes. that's not and working for you fresh. and you've got delicate leather, <laughs> micellar water. For the face and the shoe. Yeah. But maybe have different sponges. Maybe different. Different yes. sponges. And then for last sure. but not least, my final trick is they now make that sort of magical eraser thing. Yes. But in a sheet. Oh, nice. So it's actually easier to get around on your shoe versus that giant sponge. That is excellent. Okay, we so love we to got a white see shoe. that. So we have a white shoe. Uh, we've got a fresh canvas now. You're going to show us how to customize it with vinyls. So, yeah, these are actually iron on vinyl. Look at these. I am not that talented at hand painting a circle. Right? You don't have to be either. That is So cool. it's literally vinyl that I made on my Cricut. Yeah. So they come out. I did different sizes. Let me grab you a big one. So you'll see this guy. Mm -hmm. So it's your polka dot, and then you literally apply it on. Okay. You stick it onto the shoe, and then what do you do? So the trick with this one is you get this little baby iron. <gasps> Isn't that the cutest little iron you've just ever seen? Apply it, and you hold it on for 30 seconds. Oh, that's cool. And the leather will not burn. You're not going to burn leather like you will cotton. And then yeah. you take it off, and then you can just peel it off, and you get your beautiful that's beautiful. polka dot sticker. And then I have a second trick for you. Okay. So. They now have invented this color changing from daylight sneaker vinyl. So I don't know if you can see the back of these or if that's showing up at all. Uh, no. So why don't we make it show So it up? looks very fancy. A lot of designers have been doing this with their fabric. And then this UV light actually acts like sunlight. What? TM. So you use the same principle and it's literally just UV changing vinyl. And it'll that's go back so to white cool. once you come out of the sun. So I also love this because if Eve ever tries to steal your sneakers, right. you can pull out your like spy That's light right. and be like, hey girl, those right? are mine. Get and them then off. she'll say, okay, they're yours. I'm wearing them anyway. Yeah, probably. But that is very cool. I love that. Like very funky. I haven't seen that before. Okay, we're going to use paint marker markers. Yeah. Um, are you so ready? what are we going to do scared? with our paint marker? Yeah, I'm scared. <laughs> what are we doing with markers? Don't worry. You can't fail with this. So what's funny is these are actually some very expensive designer sneakers. Yeah that I probably paid way too much for, especially when they showed oh, up. Cool. I was like, oh, I could have done that myself. Right. So I did, and right. I did this pair, actually. This so is so cool, What's great Christian? with paint markers, it's really easy. And what I love is I just grab a classic, like, nice. Reebok white sneaker. Yeah. And my trick, so you're going to take paint markers. And so they're, like, Oh, yeah, you've got markers. a pair. So literally, if you're ready for it, we're going to show them how easy this is. <gasps> okay. Are you ready for it? Are you scared? Yeah, I'm ready. Sometimes you need to be scared in life. Okay, I'm a little bit worried. It's yeah. just that they're so crisp and white. So, so do I have to stick to a certain place on the shoe? No, you can do whatever you want. But yeah. the trick I always tell people is if you follow the shape of the shoe, yeah. it's actually easier. So if you look at the shoe I did over here. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, just well, now I just marked the blue on the shoe. Oh, so this okay. is a trick. I mean, if you don't want to follow that blue, <laughs> nail polish remover. What? If you use a 100% acetone, it will take off any mistakes you had. That is amazing. Use a amazing. little Q-tip, take it off. So. You can't screw up, guys. Okay, so this is what I need to know. If you walk outside in the rain, does this stay on? Yes, it does. It does. So the advantage to the paint marker, and I always opt for, even though it's water-based, it's not going to wash off once it's dried. Okay. The water-based will come off with the acetone versus an oil-based paint marker. Yeah. And it will not wash off in the rain. Okay, so water-based. I do water tell based. people, it is water-based. I do tell people if they're worried about it, you can always add a shoe protector. Like that same shoe protector you stop salt stains from and yes. snow stains from yeah. will seal it in even better. Look at that. And yeah, if you follow the shape of the shoe, yeah. it's like a cheat. 
and then you literally color it in. So it's like paint by number. You did a very good job on those ones. Like I'm very, I'm so impressed. Okay, so we've done our, we've done all of our shoes. Let's talk a little bit about how we can top it off. You're very big on monogrammed everything. Oh, I, I love you for that. That sees for Christian. <laughs> so what can we do with a nice? You're gonna make a duster. Oh yeah, because I feel like if you're gonna spend all this time making your custom shoes, yeah. you need custom shoe bags. Yes, you do. Which are really easy. So you can pick up these plain custom shoe bags. Actually, yeah. just grab them on Amazon. So simple, simple. Simple, simple. Yeah. And then I made this on my Cricut. Nice. I don't know if everyone knows a Cricut, but it will cut almost anything for you. So yeah. although this looks like nothing, what you have to do with a Cricut, they call it weeding. Okay. This is the only weeding I do in my Weed life. Weed it up. Because I don't have a lawn, guys. <laughs> Even if I did, someone else is doing the weeding for me. Right. I'll bore your children to weed. But as you pull it off, you literally will get a Timor. Oh, nice. Okay, so, so sort of like this guy. This. And then once you apply it on, what you're going to do is you can either take your little baby iron, the teeny tiny little or baby. an iron at home, or even this guy. We're going to stick it on top. Just like that. Just like this. It sets for 30 seconds. And then what's really easy, Trace, and I'll get you to do this, you just peel off the clear backing. Okay. And you will have. Oh, look at that. It's like magic. I'll hold it up for you. There you go. Very classy. Christian, you keep all of your DIYs like level 1000. Thank you. We're going to break. See you on the other side.